Good morning. It's, I just got up. Um, it's cold this morning and I went shopping yesterday for some things to make, uh, bear uh, tacos. <laughs> yeah, don't let me say it. Anyway, that's what I'm making this morning. So I'm going to put the meat in the slow cooker. I'm going to let it cook all day long, but first I'm going to make the chili sauce. So got some dried chilies, tomatoes, um, onions, and so I'm going to get that cooking and um, then I'll throw all that in the blender. Okay, I'm using some of these and ancho chili pods. These are the rest of those, so um, I'm going to take the seeds out and throw these in a pot. And we're going to let them I've had these for a while. I need to use them up. And the other one I'm going to use is this Arbol uh, chili pod. Probably one, one and a half. We'll see. Okay, I added my onion and I've added the tomato and then the peppers. And now I'm going to um, just simmer it for a little while. And we'll be back. What I am using today is a Black Angus Chuck Roast. And I'm only going to cook half of it and freeze the rest. Because I only have a tiny, tiny crock pot. <coughs> so, I will cook some today. Freeze the rest and then cook this for another recipe or the same one. But what else am I adding to this? I went to Aldi, which I like Aldi, and anytime I'm in Abilene, I go to Aldi. Um, so what else am I going to add to this? Lamb. Lamb chops. They're starting to boil over here, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this down. Let it simmer. I'm going to use... Um, these are bone-in. I might use two of these. Yeah, and then I have two left. And I will freeze these. So, um, but I thought that was, I was, was looking for beef ribs to add, but they didn't have any ribs. So, I'm just going to use this lamb and see how well that comes out. So, half of a roast and two of these lamb chops. Okay, I've got the half of the roast cut up and I took some of the lamb off the bone but i'm gonna put that bone in the crock pot i'm gonna leave this one whole and um but i'm gonna make up make up i'm gonna mix up some seasonings in this bowl and i'm gonna use some salt some garlic powder onion powder smoked paprika pepper uh this this has kind of got a mesquite um, flavor to it. So I'm going to use a lot of that. And I'm just not going to um, measure. I'm just going to mix what I think I want to use in here to cover all that meat. And then I'm going to let it just sit for a little bit. Mix it all in. How about some of that? <laughs> That's it. Head Country Seasoning Original. And some garlic powder. Can't go wrong with garlic. Onion powder. Smoked paprika. And some pepper. Mix that up. Hmm. Looks good. <laughs> Sammy snoring. Can't have too much, can you? I'll mix that in. 
Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And then I'm going to put it in my cast iron and brown it a little bit. Then it will go in the crock pot. Oh, don't knock it off in the floor. All right, let's look at our peppers. Oh, I think that's good to go. Gouda. Okay, I'm going to add some oil. Oop. I'm browning this in two batches. You don't want to overcrowd, so it will get good and brown. I'm not cooking, so we're going to put it in the crock pot and cook for five or six hours. So I am just browning here, so need to... Okay, I got a good sear on most of this. So it's going into the cook pot. And I cut off some of that fat and I just put it in there. We're going to want some of that fat for our corn tortillas. Next batch. And you little lamb, you go right there. Alright, let's put the next batch in. Okay, this batch is done. Going in. Of course, I thought I was recording all this time and I wouldn't. So, anyway, it looked really good in there. But I've got it in this cup, and I'm going to use my emulsion blender to blend these up. So I will be back when I get that done. Okay, I use my emulsion blender. There's the chili and the onion and everything. Oh, it has been five hours. Oh, steamy. Steamy, steamy. I just put it on low. I'm not ready to eat. So, and one thing I have been doing is straining off the the fat and putting it in here. See, it's fork tender. Fork tender, starting to fall apart. I'm just gonna ladle the juice into my strainer. It's going to be a little bit more watery versus thick. And then I will also work it through a little bit too. Okay, I got the meat on the plate. And I'm just going to, like how tender it is, start pulling it apart. And separating the fat. It'll make a great taco. Okay, I poured a little bit of that fat in there. That rendered fat, as you can see. Ooh, that's just goodness right there, isn't it? And I'm going to put some meat. Ooh, and then a little... And some cheese. And I'm using mozzarella today because that's what I got. Oh, let me turn that down. Oh. There we go. That cheese is melting on the pan. Fried cheese. Come on now. Oops. Yeah. A little burnt fried cheese. 
I was getting my sauce ready. And... Oh, well, that will be crispy. Crispy. There we go. There's our taco and our strained sauce. And I got a lime on the side. It's still too hot. Dip it in. Oh, that's still too hot. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'll be back. Okay. Take a bite. It's pretty good. Dip it into the. It's too hot. Dip it into the sauce. Add a little bit of lime with your coconut. Mm. Mm. That's good. I'm glad I um, drained, not drained, strained the um sauce that's more of a dip ow a <laughs> dipping sauce instead of a thick layer I, I like it i like it i like it a lot it's pretty easy it's taking me all day to cook it but most of it's been in the crock pot so not too bad and I just wanted one because I had some leftovers from yesterday that I ate earlier. And I'm not real hungry. Mm. Alright. I'm going to get off here and finish this. Have y'all had these tacos before? Gotta go. Mm -hmm.